We're good with it. Today, I'm about to do something very, very different. Um, I get a lot of questions on how I do things. So, to give a little bit more context and detail, you know what I'm saying? Just explaining things, how I do some things. Dang, I just said a lot of things. Oh, that... <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm about to walk y'all through, you know, uh, one of my videos and explain how I went about doing this custom. So, let's get it. You know. Yeah, hey, yeah, transition with decent. That was decent. Super decent. No glove, no love, man. Protect your skin. Okay, right now I'm going straight in with um that neon yellow, the tropical uh, yellow. Uh, before I paint my shoes, I like to always lay down a white base coat. Um, most of the time I mixed in I mix in um, adhesion promoter with my white base coat I probably lay down maybe like three good coats of that you know what I'm saying just so you know extra protection now I'm going in with the um, sunset yellow because like when I, when I, I like to sit, the way I like to set my colors up I like the I like them to be kind of seamless, you know what I'm saying? And then the ones that are uh, end up being like kind of not seamless, I go back in with another color and put it on top of the parts that kind of look like oh they really didn't blend together well. And I add a color that kind of mixes in with both of those. Y'all see what I'm talking about towards the end of the video. But like I said, y'all went from the sunset yellow. Now I'm going in with the orange. And uh, I believe that's flaming orange that I'm using. Mm, look at that close up. Brush. I know a lot of y'all be asking how you work with them neons like that. Um, honestly, I don't like, I, I work with neons solely through airbrush, honestly. Because just doing it with, with the paintbrush is just such a big hassle. I mean, I can do it, but it's it just, it's so much to it. It takes so long and you gotta be down there perfect to do it. So now I'm going in with that paradise, not, not paradise, <laughs> the um, Tahitian pink. And like I said, I keep on saying it, um, that Tahitian pink, it mixes in well with that orange. You know what I'm saying? It actually can mix in See how I'm going in, you know what I'm saying? Right through all of those colors. Cause it mixes in well with all of those colors. Because if you mix the pink with that yellow or that um both of those kinds of yellow, it basically makes another orange. Or if you go back over it again, it will go ahead and be that solid pink. So that's how you that's how you set them up, man. You gotta set yourself up for success. Knowing how to utilize those colors to your advantage just like now okay i'm going in with that purple and i'm going in with it inside of that pink like near the pink and stuff you know what i'm saying so if you notice back in the other part not this part right here but on the other part um that purple was kind of not blending well with that yellow uh later on in the video i'll be showing you you know how i kind of blend here it is again yeah that that purple doesn't blend like super well with that yellow so you're gonna see what I do, man. Um, it's just all about how you how you set yourself up for that that great finish. You feel what I'm saying? Especially with using these neon colors, because a lot of them are um, not a lot of them. Just basically all of them are kind of transparent. You feel me? So yeah, within working with those transparent co colors. You're not gonna be able to just cover up some real quick with those transparent colors, cause it's always gonna be some kind of undertone between the two different colors. That's why you gotta focus on trying to make it kind of seamless. Like now I'm going in with that green, but you can still see that little purple residue or whatever. Granted, I am gonna throw some little stencil work and all that kind of stuff on this, you know, and and that can be see like this is what I'm talking about right here. I threw in a color that's more solid, but still goes in 
with both of those colors like that that, that blue kind of it ties in good with that purple and that green now I'm going in between other colors which really didn't need it but you know I added it anyway just to give it a little bit extra pop and contrast look at that oh yeah oh yeah look at that work right there look at that boy man now it's stencil time. This is the fun part. This is like really one of my most favorite things to do is to add those stencils and the shapes and everything just to give them extra pop and like just more depth in your design. And um, I will I will be starting to make my own stencils so y'all can buy them and stuff like that to help y'all out with y'all custom journey. But this stencil right here specifically. I got that from um from Hobby Lobby. So if you got a Hobby Lobby in your area, definitely pull up on Hobby Lobby. Uh, hopefully they'll have them in stock. But this is where I got this stencil from. The little cheetah print with the um I guess I think it's like a zebra print as well. Yeah, there we go. I like to sense the color. The color of the shoe is so bright and like foul in your face. I like to start off my different stencil works with darker colors, you know, just to give the shoe more contrast so it don't seem as busy, you know what I'm saying? And just to add more depth to it, like I said before. That's some good work right here. Hmm. I need to make me a pair of these. That's crazy. I be coming up with these nice designs and I don't even have. It's all good though. Eventually, I'll be able to make me a pair. But like right now, um, I know this might seem like it's white, but it's not. It's a super light purple. Um, it's it's really like the uh, lilac, but it's a little bit lighter than that. Now I'm going in with that uh one of my favorite colors to use, which is gift box blue. And this stencil right here, y'all can pick that up at um uh, Michaels if you have one in your area. I actually got two of them and this one right here I got it from Hobby Lobby but I don't know I don't I haven't seen it in a minute so they may have discontinued it so I'm sorry but I will try to replicate this whole uh, not the whole thing but just the part that I use the most I will try to replicate that um, on the stencils that I put on my website so y'all be on the lookout for that could be 7com you know yeah and now I'm just going in adding that extra pop that more just giving more contrast and let you know it is a nike shoe it's a jordan one you know what i'm saying then i put the drippy drippy on that guy speckle speckle splicker splacker you feel me and there we go man now we tying that thing all the way up finish it together finish it together i don't know how that got there but yeah <laughs> but now i um the finisher i used right then was the lk top coat finisher i used the matte on this shoe right here i love that finisher man now we get into that untape you know the best part this is the best part about customizing shoes i don't care what you say man i know the pain and all that kind of that's cool when you untaping that shoe, man, hold on, that's more not focused. When you untaping that shoe, bro, it's like everything in the world is just good. You feel me? Like you done. It's an amazing feeling untaping the shoes. And I know y'all really enjoy the untaping part and stuff like that. Look at that. Look at how them colors popping, man. Oh my god. Goodness, I need me a pair. Then, like I always say, y'all, the laces. The laces would bring the shoe all the way together. I could have thrown just regular, you know, the factory white laces in here. I could have done that, and it would have been good. But that extra pop and just that, like, to make it look even more professional, like, you, you got to bring some laces in there that, like, really ties with the design. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. But like you, you have to, you have to know what kind of laces you want to put in there. It, what what your shoe needs when it comes to laces. Now it's just that good B-roll, man. I'm trying to get better with my B-roll. I'm a little shaky with it, but it's all good, man. We growing together, y'all. But 
really um i really enjoyed making these uh this is my original design so you know if y'all want a pair you know where to go could that be seven.com but man hopefully y'all enjoyed that video hopefully it helps you out if you need to help you know um know how to lay down those neon colors and all that good stuff man make sure you like the video and subscribe join the squad you feel me i'm gonna be doing more like this man explaining how i do certain things and everything like that so ah, ah, i'm gonna catch you in the next one you hit me you